Today I'm back with a new tutorial which is very exciting. I've taken a portrait background. Uh, you have to go to studios for this. Now you can apply it in your own home. You can work at your own home and you can get this result. So what I need for this tutorial is that I need a picture. You can work on your own picture. Here I've taken a picture of a, be of a beautiful lady. This picture and the final result is this one. So now I will start with this tutorial where the first step is take a new document. The measurement of this document is 8 by 10 inches and the resolution is 72. Press OK or enter. Yes. Now I will paint black to this background layer only. And if the background layer is not black, suppose any other color for instance, then just press D and then take the painted black. Yes. And then I will take a new layer which is command shift in or control shift in enter and then go to filter render clouds yes I will press ctrl F for Windows and command F for Mac till I'm satisfied I think I was satisfied with this one yes and then change the opacity to 40 then I will press ctrl E or command E which will merge the two layers like this okay now I will add uh, another filter effect that is brush now in case of CX6 there are some effects which are hidden as you can see there is no artistic or there is no brush effect here so what you will do you will press command K for window Mac or control K for Windows command K or control K opens the preferences uh, settings here I will go to plugins here plugins you can see that yeah plugins and then show all filter gallery groups and names just click it if it is disable enable it okay now you will be able to see all the cs5 effects here see artistic brush strokes yes then in brush strokes spatter yes i will yes 10 and 5 okay and then go to edit fade spatter now here I would like to say you something that whenever you apply any effect to your layer or object make it sure if you want to fade that effect just go immediately after applying the effect because if you do something else and then go to fade the effect it will not appear it will be disabled so I will fade spatter to 50 yeah okay now I will again apply this spatter brush strokes spatter I will just increase the spray radius suppose 13 or 17 like that and it will be seven. smoothness will be yeah you can see the preview you are satisfied then only you will stop working on it yes uh, now I am quite happy with this yes and now I will apply hue saturation from here hue or saturation you can see yes then enable this option colorize I will just take a dark color yes I'm okay with it now cross it now what happens when you take a hue saturation from here whenever you double click it just uh, change the settings and you, you can see that now I will take the lady now I have already uh, separated the lady from the background here and then just place it here yes I will place the lady like this okay now I'm not satisfied with the background color which I'm having because it is not going with the skin tone or the lighting with the picture of the lady. So I will work on that. Let me see how well I can get. Yes, I think it's okay. Just work on the position of the lady so that it looks very 
serene, calm and perfect. You can apply this with your own image, with your own portfolio, with your friends, of your client's image, anyone which you like. So I hope it was exciting for you and uh, just play with this, have fun, do it, try it. Till then, bye, see you, take care.